A new year definitely means the opportunity for a new beginning. Personally, as I leave the old year behind, I like to also think about the things which I would like to leave behind and the lessons I learned. And as the new chapter opens, I like to focus on that one thing that I would like to implement in the coming times. When I was in India, I met a very saintly devotee and asked him, how can we remain aware of our uh, highest goals uh, when we are surrounded with so many old habits, urgent things that come into our life and perhaps even desires to do things in a certain way. And he said only one word, Prayojan Bodh. It means awareness of the highest necessity or your uh, spiritual ideals. This awareness should always be kept above our head. And um, when he spoke, I remembered Srila Prabhupada's example uh, from India. He said, the main point is to fix our mind on Krishna while we do our other work. And his example where the ladies who go and leave the village to go to a well and then fill one or two pots with the precious water. And then they take these pots on the head and they walk home while they talk to their friends, carry their babies, uh, and whatever they do, I don't know, sing. Uh, all the while being aware that they have the precious water on the head. And that helps them to keep the balance. This miraculous little skill. Mm, so he concluded in the same way. When you are always aware of your highest goal, Mm. then while you do your other wor work, or while you are confronted with whatever life throws at you, you never lose your balance. You always have that precious goal, that precious water in our analogy above and, and uh, uh, strive towards it. How to practice this awareness? Mm. I've a few recommendations which I would like to uh, uh, share with you. The first is start and end every new day uh, with a, a contemplation on your uh, need, on your spiritual need, on your highest goal. Um, second, uh, take a few moments throughout your busy days uh, to remember it in the midst of the day. It could be when you wait on the traffic light for the signal to change. Uh, at that time, just go quickly to your highest goal. Third, uh, regularly read and hear about mm, that world that you want to attain. For those who are devotees of Krishna, they would read and contemplate Krishna's pastimes. It's important that after you have read that you stop for a moment and just hold what you have read in your mind, contemplate, because then it slips into the long-term memory where it's always available for you. And finally, the fourth point is to share these insights with others uh, perhaps learn from them, mm, go to like-minded uh, association, because when you uh, are together with people who live your ideals, uh, you magically take on their skills and values. Please, the main point is never forget your highest goal, like the lady will never forget the pot of precious water on her head. I wish you the most wonderful, strength-filled new year 
that is even beyond your highest imaginations. All the best.